Number 5. Robert Ben Rhodes Also known as the Truck Stop Killer, an American serial killer and rapist. He had previously been a Marine who was discharged after being arrested for robbery in the 1960s. He was convicted for the three murders and was slated to be tried for two more before charges were dropped due to the wishes of victims' families. Rhodes is additionally suspected for torturing, raping and killing more than 50 women between 1975 and 1990, based on the data about his drug routes and women who went missing during those years and who made the profile of his preferred victims. Rhodes had converted the sleeper cab in his truck into his own personal torture chamber where he kept women, sometimes for weeks torturing and raping them. One of his victims was a 14-year-old Regina Walters, whom Rhodes picked up just outside of Chicago. He cut off most of Walters' hair, forced her to wear high heels and a black dress, then proceeded to take several photographs of her in an abandoned barn before murdering her. At the time he was caught, Rhodes claimed to have engaged in these activities for 15 years. Number 4. Pedro Alonso Lopez Also known as the Monster of the Andes, the son of prostitute, he was kicked out by his mother at the age of 8 and he learned to fend for himself leading a life of car theft. He is a Colombian serial killer who was sentenced for killing 110 girls but claimed to have raped and killed more than 300 girls across Colombia. Peru and Ecuador. In 1980, he was captured and police refused to believe his claimed kill count until a flash flood washed up one of the mass graves. Later, he could lead the police to 81 bodies. In 1983, he was found guilty of the murder of 110 girls in Ecuador. During his teens, he began to lure girls into an abandoned building in wooded areas where he would rape and kill them through various forms mostly strangulation. He claimed his reason was due to him being a victim of rape and was desired to do the same to as many young girls as possible. He further confessed to an additional 240 murders in Peru and Colombia. Aside from insider local accounts, Lopez's crimes were received international attention from an interview conducted by Ron Leitner. Number 3. Dennis Nelson Also known as the Muswell Hill murderer, or the Connolly killer. He was a Scottish serial killer and necrophile who murdered at least 12 young men in London, England. Convicted at the Old Bailey of six counts of murder and two of attempted murder. He initially confessed in 1983 to having killed 15 victims. His victims would be lured through guile and killed by strangulation, sometimes accompanied by drowning in his own bathtub. Following each murder, Nelson would observe a ritual in which he bathed and dressed the victim's body, which he retained for extended periods of time before dissecting and disposing of the remains by burning on a bonfire or flushing down a lavatory. He was sentenced to life imprisonment on November 4, 1983, with the recommendation that he serve a minimum of 35 years. He was incarcerated at Fort Sutton Maximum Security Prison and died in prison on May 12, 2018. Number 2. Luca Magnota He is a Canadian murderer who was convicted of killing and dismembering Chinese international student Jun Lin before mailing Lin's hands and feet to elementary schools and federal political party offices. This act had gained international notoriety after a video depicting the murder was posted online in May 2012. Magnota fled from Canada, becoming the subject of an Interpol red notice and prompting an international manhunt. In June 2012, he was apprehended in Berlin while reading news about himself at an internet cafe. In December 2014, after eight days of deliberations, the jury convicted him of first-degree murder. He was previously sought by animal rights groups for allegedly uploading videos of himself killing kittens. Number 1. Alan Lige also known as the monster of the Miramichi. He is a Canadian serial killer, rapist, and arsonist. The individuals he murdered were Annie Flam and the soldier Flam's sister on May 29, 1989. Second, Cecil Slinder in Donny Donny on October 13, 1989. Lee G set fire to the Donny home before leaving. Third, Father James Smith on November 16, 1989. Lee G was captured on November 24, 1989 
following a field called Jacking that began in St. John and ended outside Rogersville. Ledger would break into homes at night, rape the owners, then beating to death before burning the house down. Who do you think is the most terrifying serial killer? Just comment them down below. And if you like this video, please don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button.